Hello, everybody, and welcome to Whispers Radio here on AM 1600 WKKX, the Valley's Watchdog, and UPRN, the UFO Paranormal Radio Network. It is 610, 64 degrees and rainy out here in downtown Wheeling. What happened, buddy? I was trying to turn up the uh, recording. So I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Looked like Brandon <laughs> went into a seizure just then. Let me see if I can turn that down. For okay, you, just buddy. a little bit. Which one are okay, you? Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. I'm sorry. That was funny though. Hi, hey Nick. <laughs> Hi. Hey Nick. Do you know what today is? It's uh, Tuesday, right? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah, it's Tuesday. Do you know what else it is? Ghost stories. Uh, one week before the election. No ghost stories. No. I'm sorry. We did this last week, too. Uh, yeah. You, you <laughs> it's ghost stories. Ghost stories. Ghost story. It's our third annual Halloween call-in giveaway extravaganza. Yay. <sighs> <sighs> I like Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so if you got some ghost stories, call us. What are you trying to do with your voice there? That was a crowd. Oh. That was an audience. Right, Lo? No, that was Jordan plus one. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say whatever you want to call it. That's right. Tonight is completely dedicated to you, our faithful, lovely, glorious listeners. Uh, you call in, you give us a story, and we got all kinds of prizes. We got to keep that light blinking. Yeah, we got to keep that strobe going. It's gonna be a party in here. We have uh, Foggy Bottom Festival of Fright tickets. We got uh, a pair of those. So we got two of those to give away. We got Carmike Cinemas tickets. We got Olive Garden coupons. We got the Carlos Pizza in the Grove, which is. The best of Carlos. <coughs> Lola, we got somebody on the line? Yeah, it's the first person you sent a check to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's Pam. <laughs> Pam. You're sending money to people? Well, I tell you what. I am out here in St. Clair, so no electricity and oh. just uh, a lantern going here, so it's perfect for ghost stories. All right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, this happened to my son back in May. Now, he said... He, this had happened a few weeks before, but he kind of dismissed it. Just to begin with, he lives above a mortuary. Ooh. Oh, that's <laughs> so that's yeah. He said the first time I see a dead woman, I'm out of there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, he and my other son uh, kind of have what uh, Lola's sister has that whatever that is. My mother was that way. My grandmother was that way. You but mean my, they're they're sensitive? They're sensitive. Sensitive. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not, although I did see something once. But anyhow, um, he had heard pacing, like somebody walking in his bedroom. And uh, he just dismissed it. He, he worked hard all day, and he was exhausted and went to sleep. Well, two weeks later, this started at 2 in the morning. Mm. And it was heavier and real fast, walking back and forth. And then, like, somebody looking between the blinds, and then they flick when they let go of him, and then pacing back and forth and back and forth again. So he just laid there for a while. He thought, Nah, this isn't. And he thought, I'm going to dismiss it. It's nothing. I'm going to go to sleep. Well, he couldn't go to sleep. It, it, it was it was so irritating. He just could not even try to go back to sleep. So he said, okay, it's time to go now. You've looked out the window a hundred times. <laughs> he thought I'd talk to it. <laughs> and still nothing. The pacing back and forth. And an hour, an hour and a half went by. So he got up and he said, okay, I'm going to fold my laundry now. So he sat in the middle of the floor. I said, I'd be afraid to walk through me. <laughs> <laughs> And he's folding laundry, and still the pacing, and, and the flicking, the flicking, the flicking, looking through the blind. And I said, the poor person probably doesn't know where they are, and they're worried because someone has not come home, and they're worried. So he's and sitting there, and, and the, the blinds are just flicking around? Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't see it, but he hears it. He hears the pacing, and then like somebody looking between his blinds, and you know when you're okay. Because I thought you were, you said he was folding laundry, and then he started pacing, and then he was looking no, outside. No, the no, ghost, yeah, I, 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 the ghost I, was pacing. I'm just trying to wrap my brain around it, Pam. Yeah, he's yeah, it's just, he's just keeps hearing this constantly, the pacing and the flicking of the blinds. Oh. So finally, he got back in bed, and by this time, it, he didn't it's leave. <laughs> no, no, he did because he didn't see anything. He just heard. And uh, it's the middle of the night. He has to get up early and go to work. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like four four thirty in the morning, and uh, finally he just yelled, "Get the heck out of my room!" Well, at that point the pacing stopped, and there is a curtain that divides his living room from his bedroom. Mm -hmm. The curtain went whoosh, right to the side. Oh. He has a, he has not heard it since. Yeah, 
I, wow. keep, I keep asking him, have you heard any? Nope, nothing. <laughs> so he told us to get the heck out, and it did. And Oh, Pam. I w- <laughs> <laughs> if that happened to me, I'd have been out of there he so fast. He could not move. He had to go to the bathroom, and he could not move. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he said, Mom, I was so scared I could not move. Because he wasn't expecting that. He was expecting maybe silence or still pacing, yeah. not the curtain moving to the side. Yeah, just yeah. enough to let him know he was mad. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move the curtain. Be. You know, I'll get out of here, but... I felt it was a female. He felt it was a male. Really? Yeah, he thought maybe it was a male. But uh, he couldn't go back to sleep. He finally, when it got daylight, got up and went to work because it was May, so it was getting lighter outside. (laughs) And I said, if this happens again, call me. I don't care if it's 2 in the morning. At least you have another human being alive. (laughs) (laughs) Does he live around here? No, he lives in Maryland. Mm -hmm. You know, around here, a lot of these funeral homes were private homes at, at one point in time. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think some, quite a few of them were. Is, yeah. have, was this one? Uh, well, it has like three or four apartments. The owner of the funeral home actually lives there, too. And he kind of asked the neighbors off and on if, if they heard anything. And I guess the older man that lived there and moved across the little walkway from him had lived in his apartment. But he can't hear hardly anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But that does have its benefits, doesn't it? Oh, yes, yes. But my poor kids have gone through so much. He, in fact, that's the son that I told you last year. Uh, he and his friends went to the um, Athens uh, Insane Asylum, oh, which okay. now actually has a daycare in it, believe it or not. Yeah, it has heard, offices and a daycare. Yeah, yeah I've, heard, I've heard Athens itself is just extremely haunted. Oh, Sherry was telling me that one time. Uh, I heard Sherry that Brake, that... Uh, she just said uh, she mentioned a couple of different ones, but the first one she mentioned and the one she said, if you had to pick one, you know, she was saying Athens. If, I, if I'm thinking correctly, so there's a lot of interesting oh, stuff yeah. around there. I would say. So, <laughs> just always wanted to go. Uh, yeah. Well, now it's inhabited by live people, but uh, yeah, that was <laughs> freaky. Then, I, I, as I said, he he must be sensitive and. And he and my other son, my other son won't even tell me the last thing he had happen in his house. He said, I can't even tell you. Wow. And he's he's real close to selling the house and moving. Really? Yeah, he has a 10-year-old son. And his son has said from the time he was four years old, uh, he did not want to go upstairs. And, and his dad said, why not? Because he never mentioned anything to him. Yeah. And he said, because someone is watching me. Ooh. Yeah, and the, ki- the child felt this. And his light goes off. His bedroom light goes off and on. And it's an actual switch you have to flick. Yeah. yeah. And he'll come, he'll go get a drink, and he'll come in his room and flick on goes the light. Wow. wow. Well, that's nice. At least they're turning the light on for him so he doesn't well, stub his Well, now after he gets back in bed, <laughs> <laughs> he turns it off, and then it comes back on again. Wow. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, so there oh, I wow. like, yeah. Well, d- tell him to make sure that when he does do that, uh, to, uh, you know, try to sell the house, to not mention that it's haunted. I know well, uh, Somebody exactly. said that you could. That they ask you that when you're, when the real realtor will ask you that. I, I my uh, buddy's going around my my sister's fiance looking to buy houses, and uh, when I went with him, I'd go, uh, anybody die in this house? <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, uh-huh. Is this house haunted? You know, just because. Well, I had my house blessed years ago when they were younger you because go. of things uh, happening. And, and, and I think it was a little kid that my son's drum was being played, you know, like really? 11 o'clock. Yeah, he even knew which drum it was. He heard the drum being played. I saw a silhouette uh, across my fireplace going behind my couch. Really? Yeah, and it was a child. It didn't bother me, but it scared the kids. And the dogs were barking up in, at the ceiling in the middle of the room. Where were you living at then? Um, in St. Clairsville, the same house. Oh, so the, the same it, one you're living in now? Yes. Now, my sister did pass away in this house, and we did hear her walking around upstairs in the bedroom. But that didn't bother us because we knew who it was. Oh. Yeah, I had heard that the, the uh, Jewish religion believes that the spirit is earthbound for 90 days. I've never heard that. Uh, yeah, I heard not. that. And it seems true that people who have seen, like, like within a couple months, uh, uh, someone who has passed on or heard walking around in their room and... Yeah, my cousin heard her her dad uh, up in the attic where his train sets were, and they heard him right after he died walking around. And there was no one else up there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Uh, You know, they want to stick around and make sure a that everything is all right with everybody. And sometimes I think people they don't realize that they've they've passed. I think that too. I think there's some confusion there. Maybe that's why it takes like 90 days. So if if that's true, 
I mean, look how many thousands of years the Jews go back. So there must be something to that. Yeah. That yeah. they had been. Beliefs come from somewhere. Oh, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Now, are you a sensitive? No, thank goodness. No, like I said, I saw that uh, silhouette. Oh. And I, I have had a vision uh, because I had prayed for you to know that my mom and my sister were okay. And a vision came to me out of just, I was thinking, just laid down in bed and thought, I was thinking all the stuff I have to do, my to-do list mentally in my head. And this came to me and I sat up and went, what the heck was that? Oh, wow. And it was my prayer being answered. I truly believe that. Wow. And it was very calming and very peaceful, so I felt very good about it. But no, my my mother was that way, and my grandmother was that way. So uh, Maybe you are and you just don't know it. I, I, I probably do not want to. If my kids could <laughs> harness this, they could probably make some money out of it. Yeah, because they have been, any, any house that has anything, uh, they've had their blankets pulled off at a house their dad used to live in. Uh, I mean, just all kinds of things. And this house that my son lives in, now his wife has never felt anything. My son has felt things on his arm. Like I said, my grandson has felt this presence all along and the light going on. My son her, uh, was the first one to sleep in the attic that we know of. I mean, who knows? And there's a little lock down below. Mm -hmm. And he came down the next morning. He's flicking this lock. I said, what are you doing? He said, yep, that's the sound I heard last night. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. And one of the first things I did the night my son moved into his house, uh, he lives in Maryland, too. They both live in Maryland. Okay. I bought him a nightlight, and it is on every single night in that house. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're, uh, my older one's really creeped out by it. The younger one, like I said, he, he was tolerating it, but when that curtain went to the sign, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But enough's he, enough. Yeah, that was enough. I would have been moving into an apartment the next well, day. Well, yeah. yeah, I said I would have been out of there. But he has had nothing since, so somebody was confused. Yeah, mm. that's that's what it sounds like. I've heard that, you know, if, if there are spirits there, if you tell them, just go away. Just go away. Mm. This is my house now. Well, he had a lot of times one. they do. Yeah, he had a cuss at it. <laughs> well, I said get the heck, but he didn't say that. <laughs> no, I'm sure that's not what he said. I, I heard the pause before you said yeah. that. I, I figured there was something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Jordan's I, I finger was right over the button. I, I didn't I, I, want you to bleep me out. I was over here like I was playing Hungry Hungry Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> Getting ready to hit that button. That's now, uh, we got all kinds of gifts here. Uh, everybody tonight that calls in gets a uh, bucket from Carmike Cinemas. The buckets are for uh, uh, popcorn. Oh. Uh, for two fifty, you can fill it up with popcorn out at, out at the mall, and uh, you can use it for the till the end of the year. But you have to wash it yourself. Yeah, well, there's that's a clause. okay. I can wash dishes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's on top of the other gifts. We have uh, movie tickets uh, from Car Mike. We have uh, a five dollar certificate for Olive Garden, uh, De Carlo's Pizza, and uh, we have a pair of Festival of Fright tickets. Oh, wow! Now, if my kids are here, I'd let them do that. Um, there's no expiration dates on those movie tickets, is there? Uh, the end of the year. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find a movie. Yeah, I think I'll take that. All right, two tickets to Carmike Cinema, yeah. Ohio Valley Mall, 11. And I, you got I the tell you guys, And the bucket, there you go. I love Whispers Radio. I cannot wait to turn it on on Tuesday. <laughs> well, thanks, Pam. Just love it. <laughs> you guys do a great it. job. That's Thank encouraging. You. And Thank I you. agree, that guy that did the vampire, I was so lost, I didn't know what he was talking about. Oh, we were all uh, lost, we don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> like, am, am I missing something? <laughs> Listen, I was going to say I had my hand on the button like, like you were a vampire from Paris, but I wasn't. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I was so mad. I, you just have no, you have no <laughs> idea. That was an hour of our lives exactly. we will never get back and when you could have had somebody really great on uh, well we thought it was you know we, we thought, thought we had something be, great i mean yeah. how often do you get a guy from paris saying that he's a vampire, vampire. we yeah. were waiting right. for yeah. like a month and or two for him Antonio Banderas. i don't want to hear him <laughs> <laughs> i know i know <laughs> all right know. Uh, well your tickets and your bucket are going to be down here at the station waiting for you Okay, thank you so much, and I can't wait to hear the rest. Thing is, it's getting dark, and my radio doesn't pull in. And without electricity, I can't do anything else. Oh, oh that's right. No. Yeah. Well, Run be careful out there. I hope you get your power back soon. Oh, I do, too. I do, too. Yeah. I don't like this. You <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that storm was wicked when yeah, it blew I through was, here. I was out at you have a good show. night, Pam. Oh, thank you. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 Pam. That was encouraging. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was kind of really encouraging. We, we yeah. have a fan. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
Yeah. It's all right. Our number is 304-214-1600. If you're out of the area, toll free, 1-866-514-1600. Call and tell us your story and win yourself a prize. What would you say, you know, if you're sitting in the room, you know, all of a sudden something just opens like that. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. If I'm sitting there and I yell at at some noises that I hear, and then all of a sudden a curtain that's dividing my room flies over to the side. To be Listen, I'm ghost, sh- I'd be scared. <laughs> you know, I've never. I'm the bravest, strongest man. I would pee myself <laughs> and <laughs> cry. There's a point though where you, you know, it, like we we plan something, like we're gonna go to something next weekend. The whole, you know, okay, you know, you start preparing yourself. If you're setting, you know, you have your equipment, your you have your stuff, you're there for an investigation. If you're sitting in bed and then all of a sudden oh my God. it's like, you got your PJs on, <laughs> you you, got to pee myself. you've nestled into the pillow. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a man. Jordan's changing the sheet. I'm not sure. We're like, listen, Mr. Ghosty, if you're gonna put on a sheet and scare me, don't use this one. Yeah. You think he honestly so. would? <laughs> yeah, they uh, usually don't use the yeah, sheets. They just go straight for the neck. <laughs> Such voices, honest to God. I, you so, know. What so, would you do, Lola? Would you go, ooh, ghosty, talk to me? I, like, yeah, among other you'd things. You'd be like, show yourself. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's if right. you're laying in bed scared, because she said that he got up out of bed scared. Mm-hmm. So if you're laying in bed scared and you're like, okay, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please. You know, and ghosts then, can't kill you. How do you know? Because otherwise, well, then somebody would bless me and get rid of ghost hunters. What about that one story that guy told us a couple weeks ago? What? Remember where he came down the steps? I was talking to that one guy. The yeah, oh, down the steps. Yeah. Down the stairs. Yeah. What was his huh. name? What was his name? Uh, I forget it now. No, no, no. You, the dude it. from the tattoo parlor. Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah, it was. You know what? He was just wa- wasted, <laughs> wasted, <laughs> fell down the stairs. That's all. See, that's what the ghosts want <laughs> oh, you to think. Ye of little thing. <laughs> I would not. I would not cry like a little girl. I didn't say I'd. Well, yeah, I did say I'd cry. I would. No, you said you'd pee. <laughs> I, would, I would pee and cry like a man. <laughs> and there's a difference. <laughs> there is. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go there on FCC controlled radio waves. <laughs> so. It's, uh, can we take a break real quick? Come back. <laughs> Yeah. I'm choking. Get a drink? All right, you're listening to Whispers Radio. It is our third annual call-in giveaway extravaganza. You call in with your stories, and we give you stuff. It's going to be a great night. We'll be right back. Nick Creepy. just did pee himself in the <laughs> Yes, he <laughs> did. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, what is this? Are they supposed to be on hold? Uh, the person that called in is going to call back. The other two, you did. I know. That's, that's Welcome mine. back to Whispers <laughs> Radio. Sorry, I was having my own little good old time. Singing. We're having a party tonight. Call in and you can get some, some prizes. Who we got on hold, Lola? Oh, this is Rich. Rich, how you doing? How you doing, guys? Wonderful. <laughs> hey, I, I don't uh, I don't think I can one up most of your stories that you guys had. Uh, but when I was a kid, I grew up in uh, Bel Air, okay. right down the road from uh, the hospital there. And um, we uh, one night we were I, I'm the oldest of four boys, and we went to bed. And uh, I had that we shared a room. I shared a room with one of my brothers, and I slept in the top bunk. Well, for some reason, one night. I wake up. You must have been the younger of the What's brothers that? because you got stuck on the top, the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was older. I got the bottom. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mind the top bunk so much. It wasn't too bad. Okay. But, uh, no, but I, I woke up from a dead sleep, and I was sweating real bad and uh, breathing heavy. I had no idea what was going on. And, uh, and this loud crash came from downstairs in our kitchen. And I, I kind of just 
was frozen in my uh, in my bed and just kind of sat there. I'm thinking, you know, should I go take a look at what's going on or not? And uh, and so after a couple minutes, I finally got the courage to to get up out of bed and walk downstairs and uh, take a look in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And uh, to my surprise, when I flipped on the lights, there was nothing on the floors, on the counters. Uh, it, it was it was nothing was touched. And uh, <laughs> I. Uh, I was so freaked out that I, 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 I flipped the lights out and uh, ran upstairs and just kind of hid under my covers. Well, as I'm just kind of like, I'm kind of laying there really just clenched with the covers up over my, uh, up to my chin. And it was just like this, I don't know how to explain it. It was just kind of like. Well, show us. <laughs> no. <it's not. laughs> well, it was kind of wow. like this, like this uh, form of some sort, this white form just kind of like floated, like kind of like flew by my bed and into my my two younger brother's bedroom and it just kind of disappeared through a wall it was, it was the freakiest thing that's ever happened to me and i could i could to this day never explain what happened hmm. wow wow now, yeah. and, and nobody else in the house has ever had anything strange happen and you've never oh no no we we uh my parents i yeah i'm i'm going to be 28 here in a couple of days and my parents moved out of that house about 10 years ago. Wow. And uh, so it's, it's yeah, ever, I mean, I've never had any other instances since then or, or whatever. And my, you know, nobody in our family has ever heard or seen anything, but that was just the, <laughs> it just kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, it's out there, man. Yeah, it is, man. Well, you know, it, sometimes they just decide to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they'd say hello at my house, but they never do. They never Lola. Do. Oh my God. <laughs> One day you're going to get what you asked for. And you're you're going to have way too many. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a party this weekend. <laughs> She'll be caught up. I'd, I'd wish upon myself, Lola. <laughs> no, it, it's funny right. because every week Richard text messaged me throughout the whole show and say, Lola's crazy. <laughs> Lola, Lola why, why, what is she saying? Is she serious? L- Lola's out there. You're, you're putting him on the spot. <laughs> Thanks. It's crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. All right, Richard, what do you want? Some movie tickets, some Olive Garden, some DiCarlo's Pizza, or the Festival of Fright tickets? Uh, I, think, I think I'll take some Olive Garden. That sounds good. All right, buddy. All right, sir. Hey, have a good one. You do the same. Thanks, Bye. Rich. We'll see you later. Oh, God. So, Lola. What? <laughs> all these people wondering about you. I know. Well, yeah. you know why? Because they've all had experiences. And they feel bad for you. Yes. Because you want them, and maybe they don't. Ooh, I know. It's <laughs> deep. So if you have any ghosts. <laughs> see, but they know what it's like, Lola. and they don't want it. They're like, oh, man. Yeah, I don't. but see, they weren't prepared for it. <laughs> You're ready. I am. So you're you're <laughs> too ready. That's why you don't have it. I you know what? And I've thought of that. That's why when you believe in Santa Claus, he doesn't come. Oh, that's just <laughs> wrong. And children don't listen don't to him. Don't ever say that to Raylan. There is a Santa. There is a Santa. And I and Santa Jordan. comes to my house every year. See, I'm glad I'm Raylan's not listening. I hope your children are listening. <laughs> Just go, guess what, Jolly Fat Man ain't coming to your house. You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And You're Santa. bad today. Nick, you can come to my got? house. Okay. Okay, this is Barb from Martin's Ferry. Barb, hey, Barb from Martin's Ferry. How do? We have a plethora of Barb's. There's yes, sure is. A plethora. He and we're all about word. the same age. <laughs> I know. You know, there's three Barb's on my street. I mean, that is really weird. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> It must have been a popular name at one time in the hospitals with, yeah. with births. Anyhow, this happened about, oh, 25 years ago. I lived in a house at the time that was about 110 years old. And I had company that weekend. I had my sister, brother-in-law, her two children, and my mother. And as evening came on, we sent the kids to bed. My son was about Ten. My sisters, two, were younger, and uh, about, oh, I'd say maybe ten. My brother-in-law had to go up once and settle the boys down because you put three boys together, young boys, and they're not going to go to sleep. No, they're not. <laughs> and uh, so everybody was playing cards in the kitchen because I had a big round oak table there. 
And I went to get my brother-in-law a drink, and I was standing by his side, and I saw, I could see into my living room, and I saw a figure crouch down and go behind a chair. And my brother-in-law immediately stood up, and he looked at me, and he says, did you see that? I said, yeah. We figured it was the kids. Well, we went into the living room. Uh, look behind the chair, no kids. Behind the couch, no kids. Into the cupboard, no kids. And I didn't think they could get past us and get back upstairs. So my brother-in-law and I went upstairs, and uh, the kids were sound asleep. So my brother-in-law said, if I had finished that drink, I wouldn't have thought that I saw what I did. But you <laughs> saw it too, didn't you? And I said, I most certainly did. Now, see, if you didn't like your brother-in-law, I would have said, no, what? I didn't see anything. <laughs> no, we were, we were just both so astounded because we both saw it. That's the weird thing. Yeah. It was just a dark figure crouching down. And, and it was moved so fast that, you know, you couldn't tell which one of the boys it was. Yeah, yeah. And then in the same house, uh, it was winter time. Uh, my son had gone to bed. His room is right next to us. My husband and I retired for the night. We're laying there, just about ready to drift off to sleep, and there's a big boom. My son yells, Mom, what is that? And uh, my husband, the same thing. He says, what is that? And I says, I don't know. Are you going to go check? <laughs> and he said, no. <laughs> he did, honest to God. <laughs> so I was so mad. I go traipsing downstairs. He must have been related to Jordan and Nick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. And here a picture had fallen off the wall and hit my table. And I thought, oh, the wire broke because it was an old picture. Yeah. No, the wire was not broken. So I felt up to see if the hook was still in the wall. It was still in the wall. I have no idea. And we live on a quiet residential street. Was no way that, you know, there's vibration to knock this picture down. It was as if somebody lifted it off and threw it on a table. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then I had one more <laughs> instance in happen. Well, we, we moved out of there uh, after a while. Uh, I was in the kitchen doing the dishes. It was a bright, sunny afternoon. And I was the only one at home. And I heard a male say my name, Barbara Ann. And I looked around <laughs> thinking, how in the world did somebody get into this house? Because I had the... Uh, storm door in front locked. I had it, you know, the screen in because yeah. it was summertime, and I'm there by the other door. There was no one there, and I am not schizophrenic. <laughs> but I heard my name called. Now, see, that to me, that's creepy. Yeah. That a spirit would know your name. You yes. know, now, if they're just there and they're like walking around and even doing stuff, okay. But if they know your name. They're paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was not a male voice that I recognized. You know, I can't say it was my grandfather who had passed away or an yeah. uncle who was. This was a total male voice I did not know. Wow. Yes. And, I mean, I will never forget that. And I even questioned my own sanity. I went out on the porch, you know, <laughs> first of all, to get away what was ever in the kitchen yeah. and to, you know, gather your thoughts. Okay, now, how could I have done that or heard that? But yeah. I did. You've got secret admirers on both sides of the plane. I have no idea, but we did move out of that house, and I am glad of it. My son was always reluctant to go up you know, by himself. When he'd take a bath, he'd, you know, lock the bathroom door so I couldn't get in, you know, yeah, things like yeah. that. He was always yeah. uncomfortable. And I did have one room that we called the junk room because it was always cold and the door would not stay shut. So we put a hook and eye on the outside, you know, to yeah. keep the door shut. Yeah. And it, it was really a very spooky room. I just stored junk in there. That's why it's called the junk room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have several of those. <laughs> so now, do we. now, in this house that I live in now, I don't know if it's a structural 
fault or what in the world it is, but this house was lived in. It was only built in 49 or 50, I think, and when the, the day the people moved out, the next day we moved in. So it's not a question of it sitting abandoned or anything like that. The first night we sat here, my husband and I heard this horrid banging, banging, I mean loud banging, and my husband said, what is it? I said, how do I know, Bob? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean I can't explain it. I, I thought maybe somebody was outside beating on a truck with a ball bat or something. Well, next morning, I came downstairs, and we have a shower room here, and I don't know if you know what Barker Tile is or not. Now, this, this bathroom has to nope. be a at least 15 years old the tile was totally destroyed and i don't know i mean i looked all over the house seeing you know did we get a lemon is there a structural fault here or something we could never explain this and when i showed it to my uh, daughter-in-law who uh, handles um uh shoot um what do you call it, household repairs and stuff. She does kitchens and baths and stuff. She says there was somebody in here. She said you, this was not a structural problem, Barbara, and I have no idea to this day who or what destroyed the tile in my one bathroom. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. So from calling my name to destroying my tile, I have had every experience in the world. <laughs> so maybe you don't want any, Lola. <laughs> See, Barb knows. Yes. Oh, you guys, you keep trying to dissuade me on this, however. <laughs> yes, and, and I could never explain. You know, I would understand were there something wrong with the house someplace, but we could never explain who or what destroyed the bathroom tile the day the other people moved out. And I mean, I even checked the doors and everything to make sure they were all locked and the windows and everything. Nobody, you know, snuck in. So wow. I, so I can't you explain saw it. it. You saw it the day they moved out. You were there. Yeah. And I mean, then the next day you got there and it was trashed. Wow. I mean, we heard it. Oh. We heard oh, it. Oh, that's what Jeez. was. Oh, man. Yes. I mean, th these horrible booming, like somebody had a ball bat or a sledgehammer and was beating up. You ever go to any of those car yeah. uh, things when people destroy them? Yeah. That's what I thought was happening when my husband said, "What? what's that? I just figure somebody is angry with somebody outside and they're destroying a car. No, it was my bathroom. <laughs> now, see, if you lived on my street, I'd say, yeah, it was probably somebody wrecking a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Anyhow, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, good for you. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Barb. Now, what do you want? You want movie tickets or Olive oh, Garden or something? No. Uh, first of all, I don't drive, and second, I'm dieting. So, oh. what? A, what about a book? Yeah. Okay, we'll do a book for you. I love that. And since you don't drive, uh, is, is this on? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. on. I didn't know. <laughs> I can't hear it in my own head. I don't know why. But mm -hmm. uh, maybe we get the uh, the address off the air and. Uh, yeah. Just oh, I'd love that. Hold you. on, right. Barb, and I'll get your address. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Barb. Thank, thank you. you Barb. You're welcome. <coughs> All righty. Uh, talk. I think we got a call. I'm going to answer it. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> I was like, he looks at me and goes, talk. <laughs> so. I guess I don't. Okay. Oh, okay. This is Kathy. There we go. Kathy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine. I used to live in a haunted house. Oh, yeah? You could hear him, hear the ghost walking around, and you could feel it sitting down on the bed. It was pretty creepy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. it was. Now, no, where, where are you from, Kathy? I'm from Bridgeport. Over in Bridgeport. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nobody be home, and you feel somebody sit on that bed, but it would never hurt you or anything, but you could just feel the bed... Just like somebody like was sitting down on it. Really? Yep. Would you see the imprint of the person sitting down on the bed also? Yep. Ooh. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it was. Now, was this a house you you know, you moved into, or is this like a family home? It was a family home, but I don't know who the ghost is, though. <laughs> 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 and my, my daughter was three and four. She used to see the ghost all the time. 
He wore cowboy boots. At least he's a friendly oh. ghost. Oh, he wore cowboy boots? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Send him over. <laughs> Wonder if he had on chaps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we could find that out, too. But that, yeah, See, that would it. answer yeah. two of my wishes right all in one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But we don't live there anymore, though, but... Well, they can always else. do a drive-by, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, he just came to the wrong house. Uh, yeah. Now, d- <laughs> did you move out of the out of it because of what was happening, or just because? Oh, we just move? moved out to get a bigger place. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing here so far. So far, <laughs> we're kind of disappointed. Full of two. I know. Well, if you ever get to your old house, send him a note. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank uh, you, Kathy. What what kind of prize do you want? Well, what do you got? We have uh, Carmike Cinema tickets out in uh, St. Clairsville. We have. Oh, I'll take those. All righty. <laughs> and don't forget the bucket. And you get a bucket too. And, you, and get you get a bucket, bucket for Carmike that uh, you can fill it up with popcorn, and it's only two fifty, and you can keep using it until uh, the end of the year. All righty. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Kathy. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, I forgot about the buckets too for a little bit there. How can you forget? How could you forget about so it? That's all buckets. we've been talking about. <laughs> when I, when buckets, I, buckets, when buckets. I, when I went to Carmike yesterday, he was like, "How them buckets? I can give you another hundred. I said, "No, no, no, no! <laughs> I'm working on a castle right now." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he, then he said he wanted to put them all over the front, like the front area. You, you could strap them together and use them as a raft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next year's anything that floats contest ignite. There you go. Stand a chance with it. Please don't give him any ideas. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You'd probably fill that move down past the island, too. <laughs> Jordan get in trouble with littering because I'd fall off. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't catch it either. <laughs> <laughs> bye, buckets. Ew. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, so, Jordan, what do you think so far? I'm having What's a good your favorite time. story it's so far? I have to ask. Well, well what was your favorite? I've, I've liked them all. I well, mean, the I curtain. I like the family. The curtain, the curtain, curtain was the good. Curtain yeah, it good. has me just because. Who we got, Lo? This is our Barb. Barb! Hey, guys. Hey, what's Barb. the record? On? Three Barbs in one night. I know. <laughs> I, teachers <laughs> must have gone crazy. We need to get the name. Yeah. Well, I thought Trisha was going to call you, but apparently she's a little bit intimidated or something. So. By who? Trisha well, is she... very sensitive. She's worse than me. She's well, very she, sensitive. But she knows all of us. I know, but she gets real. Okay. She, but I told her I said call and see what they can tell you. But apparently, like, she moved into the storm when she started her senior year uh-huh. down at Marshall, hmm. and she lives with three roommates, and they're all nursing students. And you know, she would hear the toilet flush and the sink run in the middle of the night. Just assume it was one of her, you know, co-ed, whatever. Roomies. Yeah. Well, the last. Like six weeks, she's been paying attention. And when they're gone for the weekend, between 2 and 2.30 in the morning, the sink runs and the toilet flushes. You know why? It's th- the spirit's coming home from the bar. Yep. There's <laughs> nobody in there. Well, she was getting all freaked out. And I'm like, Trish, you know what to do. You know, just she would go in. The sink's not wet, you know, but she hears it. You know, and it's in between the same times and everything. So I told her, I said, well, you need to research. You know, you need to find out what's going on. Apparently, a nursing student about 16 years ago oh, I know what you're gonna, um, died of leukemia. Oh, uh, well, that's better than what I thought. <laughs> no, in her seriously. senior year. Wow. And, well, Trish wants to get out of this dorm because it's really messing with her. And I, I'm like, you know, you know how this goes. It's not going to hurt you, whatever. Still. Her roommates never hear it. Dorms aren't that big, Barb. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like I've been locked in a closet with a ghost for the last year and a half. <laughs> well, but it's it's like a little suite, and they all have their own little rooms and everything. And she's like, Mom, I don't want to move out there, my friends and everything. And I, I told her she just needs to talk to it or whatever. But I, I told her to call you guys tonight because I know – I said call jordan he'll you know hook you up with his mom you can talk to her <laughs> and uh but she's freaked out she just but she did research it and apparently 16 years ago this this young lady passed away from leukemia as a senior nursing student well you know that does wow. sound residual mm-hmm. you know, well, like it's just a loop and mm-hmm. she just keeps coming home and you know 
she's gonna be mad at me. She's like, why did you call them? You know? <laughs> oh, tell her thought, to get over it. Well, Jordan's mom is so wonderful, and I thought maybe she could talk to her and work something out. But she said she's gonna, you know, her, the only thing that really bothers her is her roommates don't hear it. Yeah, yeah. But Trisha has been very sensitive her whole life. Well, you email so, me the contact info, and I'll give it. I'll, I'll tell her to do that. I will. I'll tell her to do that because she likes her friends. She doesn't want to move out of the dorm. It's her senior year. She wants yeah. to have fun, but the toilet won't quit flushing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sometimes but, the toilet's just got to flush. I mean, somebody's well, got to do it. Well, I'm sure she's listening to you guys on the Internet. So if she calls, she's going to be like, my mom wasn't supposed <laughs> to say anything. They're going to think I'm crazy. And, you know. Now, she should know better than to think we think she's crazy. Listen you, to us. She is. She's very, I mean, just, oh, it, it amazes me how in tune she is. Wow. So, but, so she called you saying, well, that wasn't your mother. That was somebody else. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was the other Barb. That was crazy that was the other Barb. Barb. <laughs> that was Barb from Fish Creek. That yeah. Was oh, come on. That was drunk Barb. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may hear from her before it's over with because I called. Okay. So. Right. Hey, Barb. Well, thank you, Barb. What do you, right, what do you wait? What do you what? what do you want? We got prizes. Oh, we have oh. gifts. We have gifts. We come back. Yes. gifts. We have treats. How about the Carlos? That way we can enjoy it next trip she comes home. Okay. All right, the Carlos okay. in the grove. <laughs> All right, hey, guys. Thanks, Barb. Barb. Hey, if she calls, lie for me. I okay. Will. I will. <laughs> we never call. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now are you ready, Mrs. Stacy? Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. Hey, Stacy. Well, I heard you wanted to hear some ghost stories. Yes, we need some good ghost stories from the house. I heard, okay. there, I heard there's many. There are. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened the very first week we moved in. Okay. Okay, first of all, um, we were sitting on the couch, and it was about the only piece of furniture we had in the house at the time because we just moved in. And... Um, we were sitting there talking about all the things we wanted to do to the house and all these plans that we had. And my husband says, well, I think I'm going to run up to my mom's and get some more of my stuff. And I said, okay. And I went upstairs, and I was carrying some stuff up to go in, to put into the closet. Now, we had spent the whole day cleaning the house, washing down the woodwork. It's an, it's an old house, so we had a lot of, of work to do. And um, so... Anyway, I'm standing at the closet putting some things in, and all of a sudden it was that feeling of, like, this cold chill when I felt like something was breathing on my neck. Uh -huh. And I just kind of froze, and I thought, well, okay, take a deep breath, because it was one of those things, like, I knew when I turned around there may or may not be someone standing there. So I turn around, and, of course, I see nothing. But I still felt like all the hair on my, on my arms were standing up. It was really scary kind of freaky but i thought it's okay so i start to walk into the hallway and in the hallway we have a linen closet mm -hmm. and it was like i just kind of froze and i can't tell you because i'm alone i can't tell you if the i heard a voice <laughs> and i can't tell you if it was like i heard it with my ears or if it was like i heard it with my head type of thing yeah but this voice tells me get out the picture it's in the closet and now I'm talking about this linen closet, and I'm like, wait a minute. I just cleaned that out. I just washed that out. There's nothing in there. And I went to take another step, and I felt this cool breeze at me, and it was, like, kind of stopping me. And get out the picture. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? So I went ahead. I looked in the closet, and sure enough, in the back underneath this, like, underneath the, um, it's, it's, like, um, all wood. So and this one of the pieces of wood there was a picture and all it was like ripped and all you could see were these two hands in the kitchen sink and plain as day i heard i used to do a lot of work here too Whoa. so yeah. i was pretty freaked out at this point <laughs> and i'm just like standing there well a few minutes later my husband was back and i was explaining to him what happened he's like oh that's crazy that's crazy and um you know, most people would be like, I'm out of here. I'm out of this house. Forget this. But it, it felt comforting to me. Like, it felt like, oh, you know, I, I understand we're not going to be alone, but um, that we're going to share this house type of feeling. So we had been working the whole day, 
And so this is the, the craziest part, as if that wasn't enough. <laughs> and so uh, my husband gets into the shower, and I hear him start yelling my name, like, Stacy, Stacy, get in here. And so I went in. I'm like, what is going on? Well, as I walked in, you know how you have, like, the inside shower curtain that stays in and then the decorative outside shower yeah. curtain? No. <laughs> well, it was like... It was like the um, like a shape of a person oh, was wow. in between those, and the inside shower curtain had him like pushed up against the wall. Oh, and and I was like, stop it! And it was like the shower curtain moved like you could see a person walking away through it, oh. and then it was gone. Wow. But inside the shower, which was like uh, hot and steamy, was like this freezing cold space, and like in the air. Yeah, that, that house is crazy. Like I said, James has told me a bunch of stories about it, too. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm <It's> impressed. <laughs> Lola, Lola, wants, Lola wants to come to your house. I know. <laughs> so you're having a Christmas party, you say. <laughs> okay. Welcome anytime. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that house is really scary. Like I said, James has told me some freaky stories about it, too. Wow. <laughs> Lola, you can go over anytime you like, but you can never leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could be. She's moving <laughs> in. <laughs> well, that's uh, cool. Wow, Stacy. Oh, well, that's thank you for letting me share. Hey, <laughs> thanks for calling. Great, right, thanks. And, uh, Wait, we got some uh, some gifts, yeah. some treats for your, your Ooh, trick. Yay. <laughs> we, we have uh, Carmike Cinemas tickets. We have uh, Olive Garden gift, gift certificate, uh, DeCarlo's Pizza, and Festival of Fright tickets. Oh, that's a hard decision. Oh, I know. A, I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but Festival of Fright, where is that? Foggy Bottom. Oh, okay. Um, that's the three attractions at, at Foggy Bottom. Sure. How about those? All righty. Who doesn't like a good scare, right? That's exactly. right. <laughs> no, it just don't let them scare you because I cried like a little girl. So. And don't. <laughs> whoa, 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 what I did. Did. <laughs> Great. I can't wait. And don't wait. tell them your name. And hope that no one knows you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when we when we went in there, uh, somebody knew Aww. Rachel, and it was like th Freddie came out and says, "Hi, Rachel," and <laughs> lost it because all the other actors then knew her name. So through the whole <laughs> thing, it's like Rachel, and it was like, "Ah!" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Stacy, and uh, okay. I'll see you at your Christmas party. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> Bye, Stacy. <laughs> see, right, see you. Thank okay. you. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Okay, um, I'm hope I'm saying this name right. He's from Pal Talk, so okay. Bolin. Oh, I know it screw it up. Bolinard, did I get it right? What's that? Did I get your name right? I didn't hear it. I got it. That's okay. You just say it. You just say it. <laughs> oh, I'm Bolinard. Okay. 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 You're close. You're yeah, close. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. This this whole thing went on over a night. We had. Um, Originally, we all belonged to a fantasy artist cooperative in Milwaukee, and over time, we just all went our separate ways. One of us, uh, who lived out in, I think, California, got married, and she came back to Wisconsin to celebrate with all the old group. And we ended up getting together at a friend's who was uh, an another member of the group, who was a funeral home director in Racine, Wisconsin. I think it was Racine, Wisconsin. And they lived in the upstairs of the funeral home, which is one of these really old buildings. It had to be three stories tall, had the copper roof. I mean, really pretty building. Wow. Really old. And, you know, creepy as all get out. <laughs> so, you know, a buddy and I are the type, you know, show us the money. You know, we want, we're not buying in unless we actually really see some hinky stuff that, you know, you just can't explain away. Yeah. And, uh, well, we got told, oh, yeah, you know, they bring in someone who was uh, uh, deceased, and, uh, oh, there were a couple of bodies. It, obviously, because of legal ramifications, we weren't allowed in, in the room where the bodies were, which none of us really were standing in line to go yeah. into anyway. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, we got a tour of the, the funeral home, and so, when we got down near the embalming room, one of the people in the group had made the comment the formaldehyde smell was quite strong. And uh, the next thing we hear is a fan come on. It was the vent fan for the room. Hmm. The, vent, the switch for the vent fan was on the opposite side, deep in the room where we were near the door, yeah. which was the room we weren't allowed into for legal reasons. 
because we weren't, uh, you know, um, Staff. licensed in bombers. Yeah. So, but uh, the switch was way across the room. Nobody in the room. Oh. So we're thinking, all right, someone's playing with us. There's another switch somewhere. And as the night went on, we experienced some other odd stuff, but nothing, you know, you'd really write home about, except this building, like I said, was about three stories high, had this copper roof. It was a metal roof. And uh, if anything hit it, like a tree branch, you heard it inside. Yeah. And we heard running feet, booted running feet going across. Mm. So my buddy and I, being the skeptics that we are, <laughs> went outside and looked around. Uh, there was um, a covered area from the second floor that, uh, you know, so they could roll up with a hearse to unload and not be rained on. And that was about the only thing we found that anybody could climb up on, but you still had another floor to get up after that to get up to the roof where all the metal was. So, you know, we really started looking around then because you could hear this, this, these booted feet all night running across this roof. You know, we're thinking trees, except there's nothing there. Yeah. But that wasn't the creepiest thing of the night. The creepiest thing was when any of the women would go into the restroom, the shower curtain looked like a hand reaching out at them. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, the funny part, we have a friend who's transgender. Mm -hmm. uh, was a, a woman who, you know, took the hormones. And right, right. Definitely looks like a man. Well, whatever it was, wasn't spoofed. Because he got it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, was kind of interesting. But, yeah, we had just all night just weird, creepy stuff happening that we couldn't, you couldn't quite explain off. But it was just, you know, weird. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, you know, when uh, the, 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 per, the friend of ours who was transgender goes into the bathroom, all the women are complaining about it. You know, and so, of course, we're going in, well, what's going on here? And nothing happens for us. So they figured it was a male spirit who had, uh, you know, obviously somewhere along the line didn't realize that they were no longer in the world of the living, completely anyway. <laughs> and they were and, uh, warriors. Oh. <laughs> you know, yeah, and then it's a it's a pervert ghost besides. <laughs> <laughs> Casper so, the friendly yeah. ghost. <laughs> well, Casper the extra, maybe a little too friendly ghost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was the amount of it, and it was it was really weird. Like I said, it wasn't raining that night. There was no hail, but boy, you could hear it. Sounded like, um, you know, the uh, cowboy boots or the boots that had the solid sole on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you could hear it boom, 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 boom across the roof. Maybe it was so, Santa, and he was lost. Now, I happen to have a line on who Santa, oh, okay. you know, okay. uh, his secret identity, so okay. I'm All pretty right, sure it wasn't him. Okay. But right. <laughs> Can't tell secret identity. Oh, Secrets. Okay. <laughs> but that's the whole story. Well, that's a great wow, that's story. Great, Boba. But what did so. you call him? <laughs> What's Boba that? Nort. Boba Jeez. Nort. No. I said Boba. Yeah, I'm actually, okay. I'm up at Boba Nort, like uh, Boba Fett from Star Wars. Boba. Yeah, Boba. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I took I that back it. then. All right. All right. All right. So I got dared to call in and give you guys a ghost story from oh. uh, the UFO paranormal group on Pal Talk. So. <laughs> well, I'm well, glad, glad you did. did. I, uh, we yeah. uh, do have uh, gifts to give away if you would like a book. <laughs> sure. Uh, just, uh, I'm gonna, I'll send you my email address and you can send it to me. That way, all right? On the chat room. Okay. So great. All righty. Hey, thanks for the call. Thanks, hey, No problem. All See right. ya. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. 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 So call it all the way from, 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 from Wisconsin. Yes. Wisconsin. All right. All right. All right. We need to take a break. All right. You're listening to Whispers Radio. We probably got time for, like, a, another call or two, depending. We got so, all kinds uh, of stuff left, too. So. Yeah, we got a bunch 304 of 304-214-1600. Call us. We'll be right back.
like it in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a baby. <laughs> All right, everybody, you're listening to. Hey, there's a video with it, too. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the video? Halloween music, free download. Are <laughs> <laughs> right, you listening too. to Whispers Radio here on AM 1600 WKKX, the Valley's Watchdog, and UPRN, the UFO Paranormal Radio Network? It is 7:51, and it's raining. I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, it, I can see it in the street light. Yeah, I can see. Wow, it's coming down pretty good too. It's raining. Yeah, it's about 61 degrees. Give us a call 304-214-1600 if you're out of the area. 1-866-514-1600 tonight, and for 10 more minutes is our third annual Halloween call-in giveaway extravaganza party awesomeness. And you call in and give your stories, and we have stuff to give you. Who else here is surprised it's the third? We've been here three years. It is. I'll, I'll raise my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't we believe it. We survived another us one. keep going. And our producer raises her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Probably faster than you guys did. I had to think for a second. I had the question. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Now, what we still got left? We still got we still got everything we left. We still got a bunch of stuff left. Got yeah. a whole stack of the Carlos Pizza to give away. Whole stack of Olive Garden gifts. That's a $5 gift certificate for those of you that were wondering. Uh, Carmike Cinemas tickets and the Festival of Fright tickets are gone. And yes. you keep forgetting about the and guitar lessons. The guitar, yeah. bass, or drums. It's three free lessons uh, to somebody out there from Viceroy Productions. Anybody. Um, we, just no. give us a call. <laughs> we're going to sit here. We're going to sit here quietly until you do. <laughs> All right, ready? Go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what was your favorite story so far? I, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the one from... Uh, uh, Bob, uh, Boba Nort was uh, actually kind of in, was pretty interesting. Uh, the other one from Ashley was that no, uh, Stacy. 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 I don't. Where the heck did I get? Ashley? I don't know, but that house is crazy. That, that was. The, the, <laughs> I think you know what? I'll give it that one. That one was probably my favorite. So See, far. I'm going for that one too. That was. It's. It's a freaky house. I think they're all great. Stories. Now, do you have any other stories from that house? Because um, no, you? I don't. Uh, my friend James was supposed to call, but he never called in. But uh. Maybe if that's some, him that there. That might be him. But it's, there's some crazy stuff that he's told me. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, uh, that would scare me to death. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I like the thought of the, uh, the cold spot in the hot, steamy shower. Mm -hmm. See, that freaks me out. Yeah, that was... <laughs> All right, who we got, Lo? This is Harold. Harold! Harold. Yes. You got a story for us? Tell us the story. I'll tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> okay. I was working three years ago down at the penitentiary for the Dungeon of Horrors for Halloween. And I had an encounter with a ghost. Really? Like a real one you're not just, like, advertising? No, I'm not down? advertising. Okay, okay. The room I was working in, there was a maze just before you got to my room, so I could always hear when the groups were coming through. Uh-huh. So I told the lady, because there was a wall on the other side, that I was always helping work, like I'd work both rooms. So I asked her, could you keep an eye on the roof for me? i got to run down towards the sugar shack, and I got to call the patron. So, okay. Went down, did what I had to do, came back. I found out by recent, and this is no joke, uh -huh. I can feel the presence of a ghost. I can't see him. Now, now, what does it feel like? You know how you get a chill in the wintertime and your teeth start chattering? Uh-huh. Think of one straight through the bone, a chill that you can't shake. Now, is it something that, like, stayed on you, or was it just, like, there and gone, and you were like, whoa, No, it stayed, that? because... As I was walking across the bridge, I said, well, let me see what I can... She said she saw somebody go across the bridge in our room. I said, well, let me go in there and see what I can feel. I'm walking across the bridge, walking down towards the other wall. She's walking toward me, and she's looking at me, and my nickname, by the way, is Hoot. Mm -hmm. She goes, she's looking at me, I go, Terry, what's wrong? She goes, Hoot, your eyes are pitch black. Really? My eyes are pretty blue, and they were pitch black. Oh, God, Okay. Now, see, and I find this really interesting because I've been in the pen twice. Yeah. Nada. Mm-hmm. Nada. I think they run away from me or something. Well, this one accidentally actually piggybacked and came home with me. Even my really? Cats, even my cats avoided me. Now, what, what, did it, what did it do in your home? Didn't anything. It was affecting my personality. I became, I'm, I'm really a pretty easygoing guy, but I was snapping at everything. I was really angry just uh just edgy very so how did you how did you get rid of this uh, it's embarrassing to say because i don't want to actually set on the air how kind of sort of 
<laughs> yeah, my partner and I are a uh, gay couple. Okay. And let's put it this way. Uh, the romp and the hay, uh, that spirit found out he could get it back at the other place rather than why stay here and get it. The the romp and the hay scared it away. Sort of, yeah. But that was a scary experience, and I've always said at that penitentiary, they woke up something in that place that should have been left alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a very, it is a, a very scary place. A lot of people have said that. Pardon? I said it, it is a very scary place. Oh, it is. Now, how long did you uh, work for the uh, haunted house? Uh, this will be my second year I haven't worked for them. I quit after, keep, I've, I've kept coming down with bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like a hard night's work. You feel like you're hacking a path all along. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't work there this year? No, I didn't work, uh. this, I didn't work last year either. But wow. it was a scary experience and one I don't talk about that much. Because it kind of like took over you. Yeah. Wow. It's just a, uh, usually I can just feel them and it's just a, a, a <sighs> It's there, it's gone. Now, have it's you like, ever... Now, Hoot, how often do you get that feeling? Not too often. It just depends on where I'm at. Oh, so, wow. so you feel like it, do you feel like it's almost always with you, though? Sometimes, but not like it used to. Wow. Hmm. Wow. All right, I got some uh, stuff to give away. We got some gifts if you're interested. Yes. Hey, we yes. Have, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't like gifts, right? <laughs> We have uh, Carmike Cinemas tickets. We have a $5 coupon for Olive Garden. And we have DeCarlo's Pizza from the Grove. Uh, the Carmike Cinema tickets sound great. Carmike Cinema tickets. Yeah. We also have a bucket, okay, because I don't know how much of the show you were listening to. Uh, for $2.50, we're going to give you, well, we're going to give you the bucket. And then for two fifty, you can get it full of popcorn. And uh, it's good for the, uh, for the rest of the year. You know, and it's at Carmike, too. So you can go get your popcorn on your movie for two fifty. Oh, wow. Sounds good. That's a cheap date. <laughs> Who? No, that means he's taking me to the movies. Uh, excuse me? There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing cheap about Rachel. Uh, excuse me, cousin of mine? Yes. Uh, backtrack that up just a few not to take, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hoot, thank you very much for your call, man. Thanks, thank Uncle you. Hoot. You're welcome, Rachel. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, you guys, we are we made it through. We did it. Yay. 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 Third anniversary. <laughs> uh, do you have any special music or anything we could, you know, we got a couple minutes to, to get us out of here? Uh, get us some good <laughs> stuff, Lola. Lola, oh, something we can dance to. Knock us out to. of the park. I just, wow, I just. Something like Monster really Mash. Ever. Something, <laughs> <laughs> something we can dance to and not Jordan. Because All right, well, this is just because it scares the pants off of you. All right. Uh, oh, <laughs> there it is, everybody. No. We want to make sure and wish everybody a happy Halloween. Stay safe. safe. Stay very safe. Good one. Thanks for getting my back there. Anytime. Stay Anytime. safe. Protect your kids. Check your candy. Give me some. Until next week, everybody. Give you some, give you some candy? Give me some candy, Nick. <laughs> Sorry. Don't steal Ray's. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know what? If he does, you let me know and I will hurt him. <laughs> Good to know. I know so he's creepy. not going to be training with us. I want to launch the If you take it, these little girls are going to come after you. I'm going to be like, Jonah the corn. <laughs> They'll take your soul. Her <laughs> <laughs> pet cemetery. All right, everybody. Until next week, don't be afraid. Only believe. WKKX Wheeling.